Welcome back, Blade fans, to yet another Tucson Knife Review. I recently got this in, and I think it is a newer model. Strangely enough, Tucson doesn't always use higher numbers for newer models. They use any number they haven't used before, as far as I can see. This is the TS-159, designed by Wong, uh, Wong Deng Zen, I believe is his full name. One of two prolific knife designers for Tucson, the other one being Night Morning. This again is the 159. It has a very nice, prominent Persian style blade. I think I need to maybe wipe a little gook off of here. A little oil on the pivot. Sometimes it migrates elsewhere. Um, steel is Sandvik. And it is the 14C28N. There you can see some smudges on the blade. Now I don't know if they're my smudges or the smudges that sometimes kind of come along with the uh, Sandvik steel when you get it from Tucson. One of the downsides of having a satin finished Sandvik blade, but I believe in this case it's just some oil. And once the oil gets on a satin finish, uh, you're rubbing all day long to try to get rid of it. Very interesting woven micarta, is it? But it's unlike any micarta I have seen, although I can see some threads along the edges where they get a little bit dry. Uh, it's unusual in that it's glossy. That's not an imprint. That's not a um, some kind of uh, silk screen or what have you. It is the material. And it makes it very interesting. So I'm going to call it kind of a brown burlap with maybe a lot of resin and not too many fibers. Well finished and uh, contoured with a black G10 backspacer that has a provision for a lanyard, a beautiful deep carry clip that is uh, inset into the handle, except that of course it's got the button top screws which we don't really care for, but um, so far in and out of the pocket without any big problem. These clips are usually great when you see them on Tucson, and they're a newer invention. They came out about a year and a half or so ago when they started doing G10 versions of some of their titanium-handled knives. So we've got some nice jimping here. We have a blade with a length of almost four inches. We're going to call that blade 3.9. We're going to do the overall as roughly pretty much in the ballpark of nine inches. We have a handle thickness of 0.66. You might consider that a little on the wide side, but um, beautiful ergos in the hand. And the blade stock in millimeters, 3.6. Finally, back out a little. We have a weight of 4.15 ounces. Not too bad. If you want to do the ounce per inch rule, then it's uh, well under that, or in the ballpark. Sorry about that. In the ballpark. See, almost a four-inch blade, and we got a four-ounce knife. Now, it's a liner lock with exposed liners. There's steel liners, steel pocket clip. Here's an interesting other earlier design with a number 236, TS-236, also a Wong design. 
This one also 14C28N, except titanium frame. And whoever saw a knife with a, a liner lock with hardened steel inserts, yet that's what they did. So they went all out. And we're talking value here. We're talking about a $45 knife from White Mountain Knives on the 159. And I think this one was probably in the $75 or $80 threshold. Maybe less. This was about, goes back about a year. And you can see my review on it. So carbon fiber scales on this one. And a titanium spacer, back spacer and just one little lanyard hole. Titanium clip. Here's the interesting thing. They're the same but different. So if you look at the choil area, we've got a usable choil on the uh, 236. Similar pivots. Handle with a groove, finger grooves on it on the 236 no finger grooves on the 159 and two totally different handle materials. The blades are very similar. I'd say longer thumb ramp on the 236, shorter thumb ramp with finer jimping on the 159. Pretty much though the same length. I'd say exactly the same length and pretty much the same grind on that Persian trailing point blade. So uh, interesting they came so close with these two designs. Now let's quickly take a look at the uh, 159 next to a Griptilian for size. You can see it's got a significantly longer blade than the Griptilian. And how about if we take out a real, relatively large knife, the Rat 1 by Ontario. So it's actually a tad bit longer than the Rat 1, maybe half an inch longer. Mostly that's in the blade, not so much the handle. So, a little look around again. Um, I will talk about the micro scratching issue that um, satin finish Sandvik steel blades seem to have from Tucson, wherein they don't seem to appear with any prominence with other makers. And sometimes there is a layer of a, some sort of film over them as well. I hit this with some flitz polish, took most of it off where there was any little issues and I think what remains here is mostly just a little bit of a residue of the oil. How about opening and closing? Well, beautiful action on bearings. They both are. One other thing you noticed on the um, 236 is that it has a hole in the blade right there whereas the 159 is solid just some you know nuances very interesting and it's a very usable pocket clip deep carry by the way I like these clips when from the time they first started coming out and they replaced the uh, Kind of their awkward clips that they had on the G10 knives with this clip. Um, I really love the carrying them around. So another look at that micarta, if you want to call it micarta. Tucson logo. Wong design. And 14C28N. Not really a choil you could use. You could maybe get the tip of your finger in there, but I wouldn't really rely on it. Um, you can you got enough of a flat 
on the back of the swedge where you can exert some pressure without a big problem there or choke back and use the uh, the ramp so the TS 159 by Tucson designed by Wang Dengzhen love Tucson knives um, this is sort of the mid-range of them, maybe low mid-range. Um, but um, I'm planning on doing another Tucson video, just giving you the full gamut. I mean, the latest one I got in the higher end was the $250 uh, button lock, which uh, is kind of a cool knife. And that was a design by Night Morning. So um, I think you've probably seen that uh, review or you've seen it out on Instagram, some of the stills. Well, there you go. Uh, as I speak, I think I'm just uh, two or three subs away from 2,000. So we'll be talking very soon about the giveaway and um, hope you join us for that. Don't forget to like this vid and subscribe. This Old Sword, signing out.